it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, OK, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Welcome weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Daryush! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Ready? Ready? All right, so here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the T-Mobile Arena. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that inaugural night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon from one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva, but the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight. You get to make your mark on this great arena. I mean, can you admit? He's hurt. He's hurt. Big ball for land. Now we get back to range. Single collar tie now. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's going to fall asleep. He cannot allow someone you in the head. Big kick. What a body kick. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lee. Oh, the big kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Right against the takedown here. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Let's see if he can secure top position after working so hard for that takedown. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard. Oh. 
I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, big left. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, big head kick land. Pretty good kicks there by Daryush. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Both guys landing big shots. Big combination. What a round. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Round two here. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Unable to connect with a right hook. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more ball. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Lee gets caught with that punch. with that jab attack. Okay, Harris lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Nice one, two there. Unable to connect there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Beautiful body kick. Daryush going for the takedown here, nothing doing there. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Oh, nice jab. Tags him with the left. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh, no! So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Just out of range with that left hook. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Big kick land. Nice defense there. Huge block. Very tricky to throw that body kick. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round.
Here we go, five minutes remaining in the first. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh! Oh! Over the top. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's down hurt very badly. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like this dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Dariusha's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Lee gets hit with a kick. He is throwing a fast, straight hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head down. Oh, oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Whoa! Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. Absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, we have reached the final minute of the fight. One minute remains in the fight. Back to the feet now. Right under the elbow, the body keep playing. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Tried to go to the oh. like that. Oh. What a fight! All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's doing for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 9-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Don